Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. I'm here with my twin brother, Matt, Coach Matt here. Look at us, so handsome, both of us. Nice beard, buddy. Beard goals. Okay, so we're gonna go over this week's Tabata workout for you. So for this workout, we're gonna have five groups of two exercises. 20 seconds hard work, 10 seconds to switch. We're gonna go through each exercise four times and we're gonna rotate the next exercise or the next group. We're gonna go through this one time. You ready, Matt? Ready. Okay. okay, so we're gonna start with our ball slam burpees here. So grab one of those slam balls, reach high overhead, slam the ball down as hard as you can, kick back into that burpee, and then right back up here, grabbing that ball, kick it back if you want to. You can go into that step back burpee. So one foot back at a time. You can also just do that traditional ball slam, reaching high overhead. Use those hips, use your whole body to slam that ball down. The second exercise is our mountain climber. So, pull that your floor down, get your feet on those sliders if you'd like, push up plank position, and you're gonna drive one knee up at a time. Now notice how Matt is extending one leg, full extension as it drives the other knee in. You can slow it down here and get more intentional if you need to. You can also do this without the sliders, just driving one leg up at a time. You can touch those toes down, or you can hold that plank for that 20 seconds as you're getting higher. Our second group of exercises, we're gonna start with our squat lunges here. So, you're gonna get into that squat position, and now Matt's gonna step back just one leg at a time. Notice how he's trying to stay nice and low the entire time, so he's trying to hold that squat as he steps back and comes up here. Nice and controlled, steady breathing. If those lunges are hard on your knees, you can just work a pulse squat here, so just pulse it out as quickly as you can. The second exercise is our three-point row. So, you're gonna grab a dumbbell or a kettlebell here. You're gonna get one hand set up on that box, really pushing that box, arch that lower back. Those legs are there to support you. Grab something that's a heavier size kettlebell or dumbbell. Squeeze that shoulder blade. You're pulling that dumbbell up towards your ribs, not up towards your shoulder here. Really push that box into the floor. Deep breath in as the kettlebell or dumbbell goes down. Push that air out as you're rowing. You'll do one set on this side. When we come back, you'll get to the other side. So you're gonna get two sets in on each arm here. For our third set of exercises, we're over to our suspension trainer and we're gonna be doing our TRX rows. Leaning straight back, moving plank position here. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Push that air out as you pull your chest up towards your hands. Really push your chest forward at the top. To make this one heavier, just step further in. To make it lighter, you can put one foot back or step both feet back here, whatever you need to do on that one. The second exercise here is drop squat. So you're gonna kick those feet apart, reaching for the floor, and then when you come back up, get that tall posture at the top, nice and straight. Straight legs, straight back, shoulders up, proud chest, deep breath in, push that air as you come up. If you need to take the impact out, you're just gonna go into that sumo squat, stepping side to side, reaching for the floor here, or just work those squats. From there, we're gonna move back to the suspension trainer for our fourth group of exercises. We're gonna start with our chest press, so those knuckles are turned down, moving plank position, just like you're doing a push-up here. Glutes are squeezed tight, and gaps are pulled up to get those quads tight. Squeeze those shoulder blades, deep breath in, push that air out as you press back up. Now, to make this a little bit heavier, you step further in toward the wall. To make it lighter, you put one foot forward or both feet forward. To really challenge yourself, you can turn around, get right underneath that anchor point here. Now again, this one is really challenging for those shoulders, less stable here, so really make sure that you're doing it well. So take your time at first and get comfortable with it. Make sure you can handle that. And then we're gonna go into our triple squat. So elbows at those ribs. We're gonna go lunge, lunge, squat here. So you get a lunge in on each side, deep breath in, push that air out, deep breath in, push that air out, deep breath in, and push that air out. Now if you want to, you can add that jump in. So it's lunge, jump, lunge, jump, squat, jump here. So you can modify however you need to on that one. And then we're on to our last group of exercises. For this one, we're gonna start with our goblet squats. So you can grab a dumbbell, holding your chest, or a kettlebell, holding it there at your chest, elbows in tight, deep breath in as you squat down. Push that air out as you drive back up. Really sit that butt back into that chair. Push those knees apart as you squat down and then drive up here. Deep breath in. Push that air out as you're driving back up. Of course, if you'd like to go faster here, you can go with body weight squats and just really rep them out. Then the last exercise today is gonna to be shadow boxing. So you're gonna grab a lighter pair of dumbbells. Matt's got some threes here. I'm telling you, don't go heavier than eight pounds on those dumbbells. And now you're just gonna throw those hands as fast as you can, rotating through that torso as well. So notice how Matt's chest is rotating as well. Get some core work in there. You don't want to get a full extension on those arms. Keep those elbows safe, soft bend in those elbows, and just go as fast as you can, as fast as you can, man, as fast as you can, man. There we go, I knew we could do it, there we go. That's our Tabata workout for this week. Great job, man.